What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. I hope you guys are still staying safe. Here we go. We finally have the LG Velvet in-house. This is the Korean variant since technically it is not available anywhere else yet. Even though LG just did announce that it will be coming out to at least the United States and other areas as well. I want to give you guys a quick unboxing and kind of show you what this new design language looks like for LG. We know by now this was basically meant to be the G9. It's in their numbering pattern for this phone, but I'm glad they renamed it. It kind of does show a whole new pattern of what they're looking at doing. And here you go. You can see it right here. It does have that water drop display. It has that large 20.5 by 9 aspect ratio. Those gorgeous new color patterns. The new camera arrangement that's all supposed to be built by nature or influenced by nature take that as what you want i personally am a huge fan of this and this color i'm not going to speak enough of it looks amazing the way every camera module is flush except for the first one is really great i definitely like the style and like the language they're going with so aside from obviously the phone you got a sim ejector tool your reading material no case but i never use these cases that are included anyway kind of weird how they bundled in that sim ejector tool in that bag as well but whatever we'll go ahead and put it back in and set it to the side and see what else we got we're gonna have also that USB to USB-C headphone we're gonna have excuse me charger not headphones here you go we have our headphones in here as well they're actually a nice braided variant with extra ear tips as you can see Sweet little style, not too bad at all. Um, I'm not sure. Might give them a try. We'll see. <laughs> Aside from that, also, you're going to have your charging brick, and that is it. You'll need an adapter if you're going to use it here in the U.S., but that's not a big deal. And like I said, you have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, as you can see. You actually have your power button on the left side, on the right side. You have an extra, basically, Google Assistant button on the right side. I'm a huge fan of that. Definitely going to get this set up, and I will be right back. Alright, so we were able to get the new Velvet all set up, and first things first, I thought I really liked that new OnePlus 6, almost that seafoam green color, but I really, really do like this green that LG has put on the back of this Velvet. But... Just wanted to throw that out there. I definitely think it's one of the nicer looking greens and color patterns there is. Also, really quick, the way that LG did the tapered edges on this phone, it really makes it feel super nice in hand. It really is very comfortable to hold. It's easy to grab. It has that slightly taller aspect ratio, but it does really, really, really feel good in hand. So, having said that, you can see the new display on this. It does have that teardrop or whatever you would like to call cutout display for that front facing camera. You can see we do have that in screen fingerprint sensor and it does work pretty good. I gotta say it's a little slower than some, but by no means is it a bad sensor at all. Now having said that, let's go ahead and touch on the specs a little bit. Big thing is their new design language that they're trying to base off of nature and you are going to get that new triple camera setup with your main camera being a 48 megapixel wide angle lens, a eight megapixel ultra wide angle lens, and a five megapixel depth sensor. If you don't have a macro lens, if you care about that, I've been really up on that with the new OnePlus 8 Pro and even that uh, new Poco F2. Uh, they've really come a long way with these macro photography and I really do like them but I just wanted to throw that out there for you as well. Aside from that, you are running Android 10 out of the box. I actually had a update available as soon as I turned it on to go on the uh, May software patch for security. So that's there already. Good to see LG is really keeping up with software. This does come with either six gigs or eight gigs of RAM, 128 GB storage. You are only getting a Snapdragon 765G, something to keep in mind. Uh, you're not getting an 865 or any of those new higher end processors. This is straight up meant to be a mid-range device, 
but it does have 5G capabilities with it. Now, you are getting an IP68 dust and water resistant body here. That screen is a P-OLED display, and right off the bat, I did notice it was not the most vivid display I've used. However, it did work really, really well in bright sunlight and does look really nice to hold. I'm gonna go ahead and throw up some camera samples in here as well for you guys to get a look at. But aside from that, like I said, you have a 4,300 milliamp hour battery, that under display fingerprint sensor. The fast charger is kind of capped at 25 watts, so not the fastest, but definitely not the slowest that is out there. It has nine watt wireless fast charging, and it does use quick charge 4.0 as well. So you do have Aura White, Aura Green, Aura Gray, and Illusion Sunset as those color patterns we spoke of. I really do like this green like I stated, but that Illusion Sunset does look just as good. You are getting 4K 30 video recording. You do have expandable storage with a micro SD card slot. Uh, so yeah, it has all of the capabilities to play, you know, in the same field as all the heavy hitters but whether it actually can do it or not remains to be seen and i can't wait to actually try this i went ahead and already threw my uh project Phi sim card in here and i'm super excited to uh to give it a give it a go i really do want to throw one last bit of information out there since it is really uncommon it does have a three and a half millimeter headphone jack as well as dual speakers and the speakers sound phenomenal Definitely some of the best ones so far. I haven't even needed to crank it up to the max. But don't worry, stay tuned for the review. We'll go ahead and put it up against the decibel meter test and see how it actually really performs. So let me know in the comments down below, guys. Are you guys interested in picking one of these up? It's really based just for Korea right now. However, LG did announce there will be more of a global availability in the near future, including the U.S. and other territories. So let me know if priced right. And not at the $730 conversion price rate. Would you be interested in picking one of these up? Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.